what's going on about it? Yugi514 here. Hopefully this background music is not banging in your freaking ears. Because I can barely hear it because I've turned my sound down low enough to make it sound a little bit lower. I know the music can be kind of annoying. But I'm here with some. Actually, let's pop it up a little bit more. We have four duels, white pro, four Blackwing duels. Yeah, I haven't used. Bla I haven't taken a break from Blackwings because I played them for so long. I played them so much. I you know I need a break from. Them. But I'm back in action with Blackwings. And I got my awesome background, my awesome Blackwing background. And I just realized Clute was like she has pink eye. Look at her. She's got pink eye. She's like pink eye. She does. Kind of weird when you notice things when they come up. And in center it's the of course. But it's kind of funny what you notice about cars and they're very close up. But anyway. Enough about talking about the background that's going to load the first replay. <laughs> now my point here is playing a plant deck. But it was an interesting plant deck. He was using the Fallen Angels and I was using my Blackwing. So we're going to go in his perspective. Here's your turn. So, let's see here. I don't remember what to do. Yeah, I, I tried. I don't really tease that, sort of tease that, but not really. Um, he tried the hand structure was kind of Sucks, but you know what? Oh well, I get rid of my Soroka and my Zephyros, like I don't care. And I draw Bora, which is awesome. Like, yeah, Bora. Then I get, then I get the Muscus. The Muscus is so good. So I just go some Bora and just attack. Get the piercing damage. Because I don't know what he's playing, so I'm just trying to reveal what he's playing. And I didn't want to happen directly because he could have had a Gorge, which he didn't. So it's not a regenerating row, which is like, what is this? Like, I haven't seen this card used at all. It's using Fragrance Farm, it's a really nice car, so. He goes to Miracle Fertilizers. I am in his team because I don't want him to get any good cards from Miracle Fertilizers. I know what that card does. I've used it before. It ain't a nice card if you can get it to go off. So, top deck in Mirror Force is like a ball, so I go on to turn Zephyros. I mean, um, Boros Enhanced, I push on Zephyros. I push on Bora. So, I can still normal summon, but I have no black when used to really summon, except for Blizzard. I don't want to summon Blizzard, so. Uh, I just take the generating rose with the Zephyrus first so I get more damage in with Bora with the Pokey Pokey piercing damage. <laughs> so, I am a turn. I don't set Mirror Force because I don't want to walk into a heavy storm. He's got no cards face down. I didn't walk in, I didn't want to walk into a heavy storm. Um, he activates the World Tree, which is a very nice card. It goes. Now it gets a counter War 2 because whenever a plant type monster is destroyed, you get to put a counter on there. Sounds like a morphing jar, which. Since you said everything, I probably should have seen it coming. But as a plant deck, like who sees morphing jar coming in plants? And a plant deck, and whoa, I did not know we drew two of these things. Great Queen, Fallen Angel, Rosalind. I did not know we. Uh, I wasn't paying attention when he started the graver from morphing jar, but still took the massive damage. And there goes some of my awesome cards. But oh well, I got back a share, so it's it's all good there. I set two, and which was a uh, Icarus and a Forbidden Lance. So it's absolutely like, like a Mystic Tomato. And what does he do? He trades it. He says trading card destruction. He's like, God damn it, no, quit it. I got Black Worm, which is like, hell yeah, thank you. And he pretty much surrenders, which I sort of understand, but he had a face on Frankenstorm, making Strong Dark Verter to possibly draw another card. And he also had Thorn of Malice, and he, well, I. So. Like, he could have Frankenstormed the Dark Verge to see what it would have gotten. And, you know, and they try to go off right there. But, you know what? Uh, Fallen Chris, Christ, uh, GG. And plus, I couldn't even attack him because of 1D apiece. So, I don't know why he surrendered. He still had time to recover, possibly, because I couldn't deal him any damage this turn. But, anyway, Fallen Christ, GG. Interesting deck you have here. Don't, still don't know why he surrendered because I couldn't kill you that turn. Even though I had clue in my hand. I couldn't win this turn because of 1A piece. But you know what? Maybe you should, I'm trying to think too much into it. But anyway. Let's go ahead and Black Wing 2. Natsu. Oh yeah, there's my sleeves. Recognize the card? If you don't, then oh my god. So, he's playing. I screw up a lot in this duel. He's playing the Haze Beast. I screw up a lot in this duel. So... Top deck Soroka. I go, I'm going for the Heavy Storm Frank. He doesn't have that solid road, but he doesn't. Thank God, I, I prefer Dark Bribe over Solid Road. 
when my opponent uses it on me because at least I get a card and it doesn't get a free monster. So I like Warwind trying to get some pluses off and no oh, MST. It's like, no, you shall not get your searches. I'm like, fuck. So I summon Bora and it bombs my Bora. I was like, no. So I set Mirror Force since Icarus is pretty much dead right now in the field and I don't want to risk it being heavy. So he's gonna set Call and turn, so I, I, at this point I really didn't know what he's playing. It's like an okay, what is he playing? Like anti meta. I thought it was anti meta, so I think I'll go ahead and duality. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to get some more cards made. So I get Blizzard, uh, I get a Shura, and get a Demuscus. I think I get Blizzard. Yeah, of course, because I have the Icarus. So, Bora, attack for 17. Pokey Pokey in the bottle. <laughs> uh, this is pretty awesome. And I set the Icarus because it's just such, such a good card. And plus, you know, I got Blizzard in my hand, it doesn't really matter. So, I start fucking up around here. Nope, it's the next time possibly? I don't know, I know I start fucking up somewhere. And even though I shuffle into Wally, I still draw the Musk. So, uh, 1700 more damage to my opponent. But, this is going to do a good search of kind of what Haze Beast can actually do. So, he's going to top like that Fire Dog, which he's going to try to kill me with. But I was praying he didn't have Horn Phantom Beast because I wouldn't use this my Damascus just to boost my power up to 2200. And I'm just cool. Thank God I didn't have the Horn of the Phantom Beast. I was actually pretty happy about that. So I'm pretty much just holding him off here. Just like I'm having that boar beat down. I know it's looking one sided, but it, it the, the duel changes pace, I believe, on his next turn. On his turn. So he's going to push him with that Fire Dog. And I'm just like, no. I'm not, I'm not going to let him get that search. And don't, no, this is, and, no, Fire Kings are not on here. This is where I start screwing up. Right here. I Icarus attack. Thinking I can destroy Grips, but no, we can't be targeted. That was a stupid move on my part. I didn't read the entire card, so here he basically is going off. I'm going to take 3,800 points. Well, no, I get Mirror, I, Mirror Force and Mirror Force target, but that was, I didn't make the screw up, but he does make a nice little comeback. But you'll have to see. What happened? So I draw Moshi Born. I saw Blizzard. Blizzard starts from Damascus. I'm going to my Catastrophe. Catastrophe wrecks these guys because he doesn't target. So I'm thinking for 2200, like thinking, please don't have Gores. He doesn't, so I'm happy about that. So his third, he draws. When he stops, he stops into Solemn Warning, which can't he can use, but it's really hurt. But he's got some of the Pyrex Elemental Lore, which is pretty much. We both take 1100 since it's half the attack of my Catastor. And I I'm going to take 2800, so I gotta admit, he actually got the Elemental Lord of Fire out, which is actually pretty cool in my, bo my book. Because I've never seen anybody bring this out before. But I top deck Blizzard. And I'm a monster born. And he can't even sell them more than me. So I was having my Catastor. It's like, screw you, because I know I'm safe from any major damage because he can't declare an attack now since Pyrex is now gone. And he has to skip his next ba his, his battle phase now. He gets a pot of average, actually a pretty cool card. I believe he does activate it because he needs to suck the deck. He gets him more cards in his hand. But this kind of goes to show you that what Haze Beast can actually do if you don't read the cards, if you don't know how to stop him. Like I said, I didn't read the cards. And he gets Haze Pillar. He normally summons this, this effect. I can't talk him with Valor, that's the thing. I can't hit them with Valor if anybody's going, You should have Valored! And no, I can't. So he's going to go for Bastis. This. I can fucking veil her. I veil her. Like, screw you. But the hate speech I cannot target, ba Bastos Cock is the only one I can actually target with veil her. So, basically, I, I, I summon Blizzard because if it's not a warning, he can't really do anything to me, and it was. So, he, he pretty much scoops her, just completely understandable because I have a catastrophe on the field, and I can just poke him, and he, he just the top decking, and Silent Warning's pretty much dead, but. Yeah, the Ace Beast is actually pretty decently good, but some of Catastro against them, they're really nothing. Um, because since Catastro doesn't really target, just the main card you want to watch out for is this thing is, is actually a decently good card. So, that's the end of duel number two. Let's go to duel number three against Kero Chan. Let's load the replay. Now, this duel, I kind of messed up. I messed up once in this duel. In terms of, I kind of did a stupid move. So I said Mystic Center because like I don't want I have to rally, but I don't want to show them what I'm playing, you know. So I'd rather get that safe and faith MST, you know. So he actually trade in discarding uh, Galaxy Eyes. Then his Photon Lizard to add a Photon Thrasher to the hand and just summon Thrasher and attack me for 2100. 
you know, that, that, nothing wrong there. Now I'm like, oh, god damn it, I, I don't have anything to get over that now, because I'm like, sure all. Hmm. I got Forbidden Lance, which is like, yes. So, so I'm sure up. Just get my plates up, going up, attack. Forbidden Lance. This is why Lance is so good. Thanks for my punch. I sure respect the question of Vire, because Vire is like, you know, attack for 800, and go for Catastrophe. Catastrophe just pretty much wrecks photons to an extent. So I set my mirror for an answer because Icarus is dead. There's no point in sending Icarus right now. So he says he has Dark Vibe. So we set it Orbro and Dark Vibe. I MST the Dark Vibe, of course, which is a very good hit because I never like getting Dark Vibe, even though it gives me a free card. Now, I'll talk about but I do go ahead and do Rally since he now knows what I'm playing. I feel it's safe to go for. I get three very good cards, but I end up just going for Dark Hole. It's like, okay, Kalut is best as a mystery card. I don't want them to know I have it in my hand, so I'd rather go for Dark Hole, get that massive, uh, the sh that mass destruction going over there. So, Orwell gets a Roger counter, and I attack with a uh, Catastrophe. Now I set the Icarus, since Icarus is no longer a dead card. Which is awesome. So, he's going to try to go off here. He's going to special summon his Photon Thrasher. He's going to normal summon Photon Talia. I say, screw you, Icarus Attack, because I know what he's going for. He's going to make them both level 5 and exceed to possibly a, uh, a Tyrus or Adrius. Probably Tyrus is the best thing to go for. So I'm talking like a Monster Born was like, yes! And I revive his Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I'm trying to push him so hard to what a point he didn't really activate Solid Morning. That's just my plan here. Some people may say you should have waited on the Monster Born. Possibly, but there's saw I'm judging right there. Um, yeah, I probably should have waited on the Monster Born, but yeah, you know what. But I only really screwed up in this duel once, and I kind of uh, beat myself down for it because it was an obvious, OBVIOUS fuck up. And you know when it's coming? It's about to fucking come. Yeah, it's coming right now. He's gonna start something with Kree in attack mode. He need to pay it. You're gonna see the stupid fuck up I have right now. I'm thinking, okay, I can go for the game right now. And I could have won this turn, but I screwed up so bad. I have your storm. And know what I do? I attack a green photon when it comes against photon dragon! Knowing it should have been an honest in his hand. I fuck up right there. I know, I'm gonna get some hate for it, but I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. That was my stupid mistake. Now, this is probably the best part of the door right here. He's gonna bring us an awesome. It's gonna use his effect to bring up the Galaxy Queen's Light. It's gonna use Feeling Towards the Future, especially with three monsters for different levels. An Honest, Kree Photon, and the Galaxy's Photon Dragon. Now it's gonna use Galaxy Queen's Light to make them all level 8. And guess who? It's the Galaxy's Photon Dragon. Now it's gonna, now that negates my Catastrophe's effect as he used the Photon Dragon. And I'm gonna take some damage here. Not too bad, but I have Dark Claw in my hand. I'll do respect. I fucked up mage on this duel. I should have won the turn before, but you know, we all make mistakes, and I really should have made that obvious, obvious mistake, but oh well. But Darko came to save the day and attacked for 17 for game. At least he didn't quit when he saw that. He actually continued the duel. So, Kyoto Chan, GG. Uh, that was actually pretty cool. I'm actually glad someone actually brought out Neo Galaxy as Fulton Dragon with Galaxy Eyes. Photon Dragon as a material. And I never, I've never really seen anybody do that before. That's actually really cool. And all due respect, Dark Hole won me the game. If I didn't have Dark Hole, I would have been fucked because I made a humongously big misplay. And it was an obvious thing. I should not have attacked the Galaxy as Photon Dragon, but oh well. <laughs> Shit happens. But that's why I added Argo on my hand, just in case I fucked up somewhere. I can have it to save my ass. So, again, Killer Chan, GG. So let's go on to the final game. Very stunk on that name, but it's not Killer Chan again. It's against Pop. And he's playing a, like, a different dimension deck. Uh, it looks like it. Which, if you're different dimension, banishing fucks up Blackwing so much, it's really a pain in the ass, but I, I actually missed playing this duel because I forgot. Uh, but I get effect failure, it's useless. 
KO, which is not good right now, and I get an MST. I get an MST. I set the MST Icarus and I set my Damascus. They go next round and go for Catastor. Uh, Rongo, he attacks. I Icarus like a dumb. And banishing my Damascus. Yeah. I did some stupid play. I, I did some stupid plays in the rules, but you know what? I'm only human. So, he says the Summoner Monk, which I was. And I timed like a Dark Hole, which is nice, but I might turn because, you know, I just don't want to. You know, I don't want to set my Blizzard right now. I want to wait and see what I can get, you know, before I set Blizzard. So he sacks for DDM, Different Dimension Master. Which is going to attack me for 1700, which is like, ow, that hurts. So, I am his team, uh, and I hit this thing, whatever this thing is. Grand Coverance. So, I just have to quit set Blizzard, set the Icarus, set the Morning. And just ain't because I'm not top jacking the card I need. I was hoping to get a um uh, a Shura. So he's gonna attack my blizzard it's like, oh god damn it, now my Icarus is dead. Fuck you. <coughs> he's not even sending Mirror Force, which is kinda weird, because I figured he was that Mirror Force, but I get a boar, which is like, yes! Because I got forbidden light yes. So I, I, I attack, forbidden Lance's ass, and there we go. He's down to nine hundred, I hit him for eight hundred damage. So I finally did some damage to him, it's like, yes. And I have a live Icarus attack now. Which is awesome. So he's getting Needle Worm, which is, oh dear god, the pain in the ass. So, I Icarus attack both of his face downs. Hoping, like, okay, maybe I can draw a monster here. Monster would be nice. No, I'd have, like, a Mirror Force. But Mirror Force is good, but I guess the deck that it removes is not really that good of a card because, especially if they get, like, DD Survivor, so I got to bring it back. So he gets a Foolish Burrow, which is a really nice card. He's foolishes, and he sends Big Saturn to the graveyard. He's going to his turn. I'm surprised he didn't flip up the, um, the Nino War. It's kind of weird. Now, I thought that Kalut was like, I don't really want to use Kalut right now. <coughs> I'd rather wait. So it gets Safe Zone, which is like, oh, good card. He flips up Nino War. I'm like, fuck you. No. Pay 2,000. I'm not milling my cards. I'm not milling my cards because I need my shirts, my searches. So I thought that Shura is like, yes. Not gonna risk it because could get bottomless, could get deeper, but he has safe stone that would have kind of protected him from damage. But I guess he, I know he wanted to take the safe stone, so it's now I'm making a nice little comeback here with the 1800. And he top decks a card that's pretty much dead. So I was wondering what he top decked because the first time I watched his duel, and I had no idea what these two cards were. I suppose this card was a silent game, so I'm attacking him for 1800 more. I'm sending a solid warning just in case he wants to try something stupid. Like stupid, I mean, trying to do something that hurts me. So he gets a DD scout plane, which is like, oh, please sad, and he ends because he knew. Sure attack, sh I special him in Gale. I sink her into armor match. So that's, that's, that's just a thing there. He had pretty much a lot of dead cards in his hand. He just really couldn't make the biggest comeback in the world. But it was it, it still was an interesting goal because, you know, he played a lot of interesting cards like Satellite Cannon uh, as well as, which I can look in the graveyard, but. Uh, I, uh, the DDR master, different dimension master, and it was like it was an interesting duel. So, yeah, GG, pop. Uh, you know, if I let him win, I wonder if he would let me uh, introduce me to Snap and Crackle. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the four Black Queen duels. And yeah, so comment, rate, subscribe, and bye.